We are back in Squad Busters with the new Transformers update information. So yesterday we got the new Squad Talk that went over a bunch of new features that we're going to get into the game. And now today we actually have even more information. We're going to be going over every new evolution ability. We're going to show you footage on the brand new troops. And there's also a new progression system in the game. Yes, kind of crazy. Anyways, let's go check it all out. So tomorrow on the 16th, we are going to be getting the new Transformers event. You guys are already aware of it. Now you're going to have two weeks to complete this event. As long as you're in the desert world, you should have it in your plaza. So for the first week of this event, Optimus Prime will be the troop you can unlock. And for the second week of this event, it will be Alita 1, which will be the troop that you can unlock as well. So you're not going to unlock both troops tomorrow. It's only going to be one tomorrow and then another one next week. Anyways, these troops look really OP. So let's just kind of get into it. You can see here, a baby Optimus Prime is a giant defender, which is as big as a fusion. Kind of crazy. A classic Optimus Prime will attack with his Energon Axe after he takes damage. And the Super Optimus Prime will heal the entire squad when he takes damage, which I don't know, this looks kind of OP. And look how much health and damage he has. It's it's kind of mental. And for a lethal one, at a baby form, she's a giant ranged fighter, which is as big as a fusion. At a classic form, she will attack at time bending speed when using turbo. And at a super form, turbo will last much longer while attacking. So she's going to be like a hog rider where she's going to infect your speed and make you so much more OP. And you can see some footage here on screen of Optimus Optimus Prime attacking a bowler and you see he's just got a damage so he now he's attacking with his axe a little bit faster. And here you can see Alita attacking a bowler at a slow speed but the second you hold down turbo she attacks a lot faster. But I don't know if you missed that, the turbo blue boot usually lasts about two seconds and while you're holding down sprint with Alita it will last three seconds instead of two seconds. So holding down sprint to attack somebody with an Alita is now just going to be so so much more overpowered. These are two very very good troops. We're also going to be getting the new special event, which is going to be Unicron Attack. Optimus Prime and Alita 1 haven't arrived alone. During the event, battles are frequently taken over by a galactic mega nemesis, Unicron and his relentless Megatron tank. In the event, which is only going to be lasting for two weeks, Unicron arrives as an unstoppable planet that smashes the gem mine to pieces, then assaults squads and monsters alike, so it's not just going to attack players, it seems, with Megatron tanks. Fight back after he converts into a robot form and collect huge amounts of Energon by helping to bust him back back to Cybertron. That is the explanation of him, but you can see some footage on screen here. It's pretty cool event. Also, troops are now getting moved to different worlds. So, Bo used to be in the desert world. It's now going to be in the green world. The battle modifier one coin chest, which used to be in ice world, is now going to be in green world as well. In desert world, we're going to be getting El Primo, Penny, and Mortis. El Primo used to be in green world, so he's getting moved now. Penny used to be in the beach world. Well, she's now in the desert world, and Mortis was in the royal world. He's now in the desert world. In the royal world, we are now going to be getting the battle healer, who used to be in the desert world and in the beach world we're now going to be getting Nita who used to be in the desert world so a little bit of a change here which matters because every single troop in the green world is going to be getting a brand new evolution so for ultimates the barbarian is going to join the squad with a baby elite barbarian so like two troops for one it's really OP so whenever you fuse up a goblin you get 15 coins well now you're going to get 30 coins for fusing up a goblin the goblin might be really good now I will have to see Greg is now going to drop a ton more loot I don't know what a ton means but there you go for Colt, his bullet storm will charge when attacking squads. For the chicken, the chicken will now spawn many more hatchlings. Honestly, I was hoping for a four turbo boot, but it's fine. Bo is now going to drop mines more often, and the mines will last longer. And again, Primo is being replaced for Bo, so Primo is not going to be getting an evolution. For the medic, passive heal will get much stronger and faster. For dynamite, you're now going to be getting a barrel bomb spell, which looks kind of OP, but we'll have to see. For the hog rider, your turbo increases attack speed even more. The witch's skeletons will now move and attack faster when they are nearby you. The king will attack with his iron fist more often. That's that ability that like stuns you. It's really OP. And the queen will now attack with exploding arrows much more often. And the bandit isn't listed here. I thought the bandit was in the green world, but for some reason, uh, the bandit's not going to be getting a new evolution. And I guess it's not a green world troop. I, I don't know. The new modifiers, crystal forest, timeout, and hatchling herder are all going to be getting new changes, and I'll read them now. In crystal forest, hero Greg chops trees faster for snappy action. Action. More crystal trees will spawn and they'll spawn more often to make it more action based because usually when you get rid of all the trees, you're not going to get any more till the final minute. In timeout, the timeout will no longer go at double speed in the final one minute just to make it a little bit easier to follow. But 
timers are now going to give you less time in general just to make the mode more stressful and also to give more recharge options you now will also get clocks from trees and carrots and other sources in hatchling herder three giant hatchlings can now fuse up so if you get three hatchlings it'll now turn into one giant hatchling and there you go it'll make your squad less big i guess they'll also get three times more health and be worth three times the amount of gems so instead of 10 gems a hatchling it's now going to be 30 if you fuse it up and then you're also going to get many more giant hatchlings spawn out throughout the battle just to keep the tails long when you pick from a lucky find some characters will now drop more items so a goblin will drop more coins a chicken will drop more turbo boots a bandit will drop more gems a penny will drop more treasure maps and a character that drops a spell will now drop extra spells we're also going to be getting some new balance changes to troops el primo is now going to have more health and he'll do flying elbow drops more often this is to make him a little bit better medic has improved healing and stronger heal packs to keep up with the recent health buffs dynamite will attack faster and dynamite travels through the air faster just to make it so the dynamite bombs actually land a bit quicker and the super bandit will now drop more gems so he used to drop i think 10 gems he'll now drop 15. leon's invisibility spell is now getting reworked to make him a little bit easier to use so squads will no longer go uninvisible when you get close to somebody else i think we already saw this in yesterday's sneak peek but apparently squads will only go partially invisible not fully invisible so i don't know if he's going to be good we'll have to find out tomorrow and squads will only become fully 100% visible when you attack someone or you take damage just to make it a little bit easier to use so you guys already know we are going to be getting star chests which is the brand new rarity of chests and now the way that these are going to work are very simple so these are going to be the most valuable chests in the entire game now these chests will only give you either supers ultras ultimates or will let you unlock new characters so no more getting like three singular babies you will actually get good stuff from these chests and every 10 chests you have a 100 chance of getting at least one ultra and maybe even an ultimate now you can get these star tokens by evolving characters or by buying them just for coins so i assume you'll be able to buy them for coins in the shop now which i'll do when the update gets released now you are going to be able to get 10 of these free star chests when the update drops tomorrow so make sure you log in for a free ultra so these are the drop chances for star chests you have a 40 percent chance to unlock a new character you have a 58 percent chance to get a super character you have a 1.9 percent chance of getting an ultra and a 0.10 percent chance of getting an ultimate now if you've unlocked every single troop in the game already the chances will get changed to 96.67 percent chance for a super character a 3.17 chance for an ultra character and a 0.17 percent chance for an ultimate character and now if your next chest is a 100 percent guaranteed ultra or ultimate which happens every 10 chests you have a 95% chance of getting an ultra and a 5% chance of getting an ultimate. So we're going to be getting some progression changes. So evolving characters is no longer going to give you portal energy. Instead, it will give you star tokens, which is what you use to get those really OP star chests to then upgrade your troops even more. You'll also get a daily bonus of 1000 portal energy for finishing top five. You'll only get this once though a day. And now you only get portal energy from winning games and there's no more limit. So progression is now no longer how much money you spend on the game. It's how good you are and how much you play the game game which honestly free to play players watching this video this is the best possible update you guys could have asked for so you will get 200 portal energy for being in first place second place will get 170 portal energy third place will be 140 fourth place will get 120 portal energy fifth place will get 100 portal energy sixth place will get 80 portal energy seventh place will get 70 portal energy eighth place will get 60 portal energy ninth place will get 50 portal energy and tenth place will get 40 portal energy and also for upgrading your troops this is how many star tokens you'll get so if you upgrade 10 base babies into a classic that will be 10 star tokens 10 classics into a super is 20 star tokens 10 supers into an ultra is 30 star tokens and 10 ultras into an ultimate is 40 star tokens so buying a star chest will cost 500 star tokens which is a lot but for your first three star chests they'll actually be cheaper it will only be 20 star tokens to get your first chest then 50 then 100 also when you get a maxed out troop from a chest you know how it gives you a bunch of portal energy which is useless well now you're going to get yourself some star tokens you can also get star tokens from the squad journey now anyways this update is going to be dropping tomorrow and i will be live streaming everything tomorrow so make sure to subscribe to get notified for that also we're only a few hundred subscribers away from 50,000, so please check if you're already subscribed because i'm actually really excited to finally hit 50,000. so i would appreciate that anyways thanks for watching if you want to check out 51 pro tips which you're probably going to want to know for this next update tap the video on the screen here and i'll see you there